So Pancock. Yes, sir. You're leaving Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. To come all the way to Greensboro, North Carolina, to share your story for the first time on stage at a conference. Why? Why my conference? Because you asked me. <laughs> no, but I mean, I just really connected with you, and um, I feel like it's time for me to give back, to share, and I'm looking forward to really providing a lot of value. You know, I think I have a lot to give, more than just a sharing a story. Right. I think I can um, inspire people in a lot of ways, and I'm just looking forward to do that. So, this is your first multifamily conference. Um, but I've been in the business for 20 years, over 20 years, actually. So, somebody may say, well, why would I need to come to a multifamily conference if you've been able to be in the business for 20 years, be successful at it? Uh, why, why should somebody come to the conference? The thing is like, you know, I always think about the, the, the mastermind connection, how like when you take one battery, it's got some certain amount of energy. But if you connect that one battery to a whole bunch of batteries, the energy explodes like it just ex it expands exponentially. So coming to a conference like that can really you can gain so much in a short period of time okay. and really boost your learning curve. You know, if we had if, we, if I had attended conferences in the past, who knows, I might be further along. Right. You know, right, right. So, you know, I'm blessed to be where I'm at and to have what I have. At the same time, I'm open to learning more, you know, and uh, no matter where you get, whatever level you get to, there's always something else to learn and there's something else that you don't know that somebody else does know. Right. So, one of the things that's been most interesting is hearing you say you're excited about hearing the other speakers that are coming to the event. Yes. Um, you talk about the energy surrounding that. And so, um, can you put that into words for the folks who may be watching this video and why you feel the way you do about the other speakers that are coming? Well, I just, I, you know, I just know a little bit about some of the, the speakers that are coming and it just seems like uh, an event where people are coming to give from their heart and really just share themselves and be real. And that's a rarity in this day and time where people are just coming to give from their heart without like a whole lot. A lot, a lot of things you go to these days, they just, it's all about the upsell. Right. It's all about... You know, it's just like, we'll get you in the door and then we want to get you through this funnel, you know? And um, here, I don't see that. I hear, I, I see it like just people just coming together in a, in a good spirit and good heart. And it's a rare thing. And that's why I think I'm attracted to it. Perfect, perfect. And so two last questions. One, if somebody was looking to get into this business and didn't have anybody in their immediate network in order to do that, what would you tell them to do? What's the, what's the next step for them? Find people who are doing the business and see what they do. Follow their, follow their, you know. That would be the quickest thing from point A to point B is to get somebody who's doing it already. Show them. Do you think that you can build one of these businesses by just listening to YouTube, podcasts, um, or reading books? I mean, it's it's confusing. It just creates a lot because there's a lot. Of, <laughs> there's a lot of different ways. There's no one way to do it, right. you know. And people have to find their niche and find their way. And everybody's saying something else. Nobody's saying the same thing. So it's just like anything in this day and time. You talk about diet. You read, read different books. You're gonna be more confused than you did when you started sometimes because each book is gonna give you a different perspective. Right. And you know, it's just information overload, and you need something. I would need something simple and clear. Yeah. Yeah. Because like I was telling you this morning, too much information can be a bad thing. Right. It just leaves you confused. And, and less is more. Right. Um, so any other closing thoughts for the conference? Yeah, I'm just happy to come. I'm happy to come. I'm happy to meet everybody, to share with everybody, and to learn from everybody and, and and see how it unfolds, man. Just see what happens. You know, you get the people, the right people together in the room and just let the magic unfold. That's amazing. I appreciate Karma Cast sponsoring the event at the goal level. That's a big, big thing. And you're gonna see signage everywhere. And you know, I want the folks to go out and check it out because it's a great show and it's growing and it's gonna be it's gonna continue to add value to people and show this business in a different way than what anybody else has seen. I mean, yeah, we from your dad that. to Sandman to Joe, like all the different guys that have been on so far, your brother. 
Um, nobody actually gets to see. I mean, it feels like a reality show for multifamily for me. One thing that's different about Karma Cast that I see is like we do it in house. We yeah. get people from the local area that all aspects of the business that come and share their experience, strength, yeah. and their hope. Wow. Well, I appreciate it, man. I hey, appreciate thank you, you, man. Thank you for coming into my life.